This is 100% Jamin's fault. We're in St. Louis where it's a little bit chillier. And just imagine a really boring drive. Nothing happened, nothing out of the ordinary. Super boring. And now we're gonna go in and play. Let's go see what they have going on down there. Sugar, it's cold. All right, this is Adam Rude telling you to check your speed, not your news feed. Put that phone down, guys. For this week's analysis, I brought in Dan Rain Delay Chambers. So let's get to it, Dan. Hello again. All right, Dan, let's jump right into the action. We're starting with 1 3, no limit, Texas Hold'em at Lumiere St. Louis, your home casino. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not your home casino? Why are you laughing? Well, it's, it's not. I didn't really put it in there often, but it's okay. I don't All know right. why you guys don't like to play here very much. I personally like Lumiere. Well, everybody gets stabbed there. <laughs> I, I think the action's better there. Maybe it's worth a good stabbing. <laughs> Perhaps. This is actually the second hand off the deck. Second hand I've actually seen. I get dealt two red queens. Surely Dan has no problem with a raise here. I do not. I make it. It's actually a three bet. I come over the top of a guy of $55, and he ends up just shoving it all in, Dan. What do you think? I think that's just, uh, we got to go with it here. I think so, too, especially since Third it was a... best hand and... Well, that, and it's a straddle pot, so I really only have half the number of blinds. Right. Right? So, yes. yeah, so I get it in there, and uh, the board's going to run out pretty decently for me once the action catches up. It's going to come, uh, like, jack high, I think, which is decent, right? Yeah. We well, have a good, good. You at least feel good should, about it when it comes jack high. Pretty, pretty safe on this here run-up, other than jacks, you're not really... And Jax was something I, I thought he could possibly have. But along if he's with, got it, he's got it, you know? Yeah, and along, of course, aces and kings and ace-king. He actually tells me he has nothing. Well, so that's I, good news for you. Yeah, right? so I, yeah, except for he has aces. Yeah, well, well that's, that's, not so not, good. that's not so good. No. no, and this actually puts me on a uh, pretty, <laughs> <laughs> pretty substantial tilt. Uh -huh. And uh, as you're going to see uh, coming up, I didn't handle it very well. Because I, I don't think that's a, a, a very nice thing to do to a person to slow roll like that. You should think in a different way. You know, now that you lost the pot, you have less of a chance of getting stabbed when you leave. Because I have, because <laughs> I have, because I have less money to get. Correct. Yeah. Well, I, I've actually never felt unsafe at Lumiere. I, I personally didn't. Either. Despite, I also, I like Lumiere. Despite the, the the rep that they have and the that dealer that I don't like is I can't remember uh, Greg something. <laughs> Hopefully Greg's not a vlog watcher. No, I'm sure he's not that cool. I'm sure he's not that cool. Uh, here I strongly, Dan, strongly call a $10 straddle. Your thoughts? Yeah, not not a big fan of the strong call, even though it is a strong call with A5. You prefer a raise? Uh, either you were, what position were you in here? Oh, who knows? <laughs> I, I'd probably either just prefer a fold, honestly. You're early, probably just to fold. Adam just got stacked, and he's in no mood to I, fold. I do oh, no, understand no. that, just, that you, mindset, though. If you think I should fold this, just you just keep waiting, Dan. <laughs> uh, here I flop a gutter. I'm probably going to put some more money in, which actually doesn't bother me because there's like six people still in the pot. No, gutters, yeah. And the turn card gives me more chances to win. I'm guessing, Dan, that you would like me to, to force the action, maybe? If raise or... Once, once the, once the pre-flop raise your checks to you, I, I definitely like a bet. What do you think it's, I do? Check? Oh, yeah. I yeah, check. Looks like a check. Button throws out a bet of uh, 60. Would you come over the top of this? My, uh, issue, my issue with not raising here is I thought I'm only representing queen nine. Yeah, well, I mean, you might play, you know, if you're going to play queen nine this way, you would probably play sets this way as well. Sure. That's a, that's a very small <laughs> well, value you're, range. You're checking, you're, you're checking a strong hand over to him. So, I mean, if you're doing a queen nine, you'd probably do it with sets too. Probably. I end up just calling, breaking the river, and giving up on the pot. Like it's, a probably, total, it's a good spot to give up. 
Once you play it this way, you might as well just give up. Once I play it this badly, might as well just just move on to the next <laughs> hand. Just move is that what you're saying? That's what, I, that's what I'm hearing here, Dan. That's no, not. Is that what you're Grace? Yes. Yeah, that's this what I'm is, hearing too. This is after. This is right after your queen's hand, right? So these these hands, even though there's like a little a little cut there to get rid of like the nonsense that happens in between hands, these are all back to back to back to back. Every hand you're about to see is back to back to back to back to back. In short short succession. Yeah. No. Though, no. Not in short succession. They're back to oh, back to back. There's no. Oh, there's no, back there's back nothing back. in between these hands. So you're no. just hemorrhaging money right now. Yeah, I'm looking really skilled at the table right now. Here, there's, well, a, there's a limp before me. I make it 16 to go with the Copeland, the Queen, Ten of Spades. That's fine. So well, far, so good. No, I'm good. I have both of your approval. <laughs> That's why we're here. Yeah. yeah. We're here to give you moral support. Yeah, the cutoff's going to call the 16. I think we're going to be, I don't know, a little bit multi-way going to the flop. I can't honestly remember until the action catches up. But I like, I like hands like this. I think it's... You can win big pots with hands like this, man. Yeah, suited suited broadways are always nice to play. And I get a good flop. It was a good flop. You probably want me to bet, right? I, I would like a bet, yes. I think I will oblige you. And... I don't get a chance to oblige you. This guy just donk leads me into 20. You raising that, Dan, or are you just calling? I mean, I like just a call. It, it, if there were, like, a bunch of people in the hand, I might like a raise, but it looks like there's only, what, three of you? Uh, let's see, the cutoff call, so there's three of us now. I don't or know. Is there more people? There might have been four. Yeah, I mean, you could raise sometimes, but I think fighting is fine. King of Spades shouldn't change much, right? You wouldn't think so, unless unless King-Queen. But but the King-Queen already had me beat anyway. Does he right. beat into you again? He certainly does. Oh, well, he beats into for all of it. For oh. all of it, 121. And earlier, uh, when we discussed this hand down, I think you told me just to toss in a call. Just toss it in. I don't, this is an, a really odd line, so I would just toss it in here. I do, and uh, I got I got some chances. If I'm behind, I got some chances to you win. You do have some chances to win. I could use a queen or a spade, and I probably would. would probably I probably nice wouldn't too. hate a ten. Do you get any of those? I get the seven of diamonds. That's well. Okay. You might. I mean, you might even have the best hand sometimes. Too. I don't, Dan. I don't have. I don't have the best hand. You lose a king three. Right? I lose a king three. This is know. why Lumiere is the best place to play. Yeah, true. The action is. Yeah, it's decent. I don't know how you didn't see that. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't. Uh, why that didn't register with me. So here is just another hand right in a row. So um, you're down what? Probably like two buy-ins at this point, right? I'm, I'm stuck a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> As per the theme in this game, there's an under-the-gun limp. There, like, every single hand is an under-the-gun limp, it seems. Okay. Open up with a king jack-off. Yeah, and it's a $10 straddle this time, so I think 45 You've got to pump it up a little bit, right? Yeah, of course. The problem with, like, these 1-3 games with these big straddles is that it forces you to raise so big, and now it your does. stack size is so the awkward because, sucks. you know, you get one caller or two callers. Now the pot's 150 and you only have 250 to start the hand if you started that's 300 effective. A, a $10 straddle in a 1-3 game is pretty ridiculous. I agree. Well, that's what I was telling Grace. I was like, when I texted her, I was like, I am down a lot of money from these <laughs> stupid hands. And she's like, how are you getting it all in with these hands? Like, because it's a ten dollar trial and a forty five dollar yeah, raise. You and essentially make playing a five ten game with like three hundred dollars. Yeah, and so in this one, uh, I make it forty five, and that dude shoves all in for a buck twenty, which I'm gonna call. And I don't have notes on what the suits are, so it's just rainbow board. There were no, there were <laughs> a no lot of rainbows. Yeah, there were no flushes or anything. Like terrible that. flop for you though. No, you think, yeah, you know, that's a great flop for the situation, but he ends up rolling over uh, the Anna Kornikova. Big slick. What do you yeah. know? The hand can win. It can win. Yeah, look at that. Only, only oh, it always, it always it. wins yeah. when you're up against it. Okay, just taking a little break. I'm going to sound a little bit snooty here, and I don't mean to be snooty. I find it really hard sometimes to play 1-3. In this game, there's a $6 straddle. So, like, every hand I have 50 blinds to start the hand. Picked up queens earlier. Not going to fold queens. Um, Pre-flop in for 50 bigs. And then I played that 8-5, kind of weakish. That was kind of dumb. Then that hand with the king jack, I make it 50 to go pre -flop. I meant to make it 50. I only made it 45, and he raises to 120 all in. Again, I'm just not going to fold for 80 more. There's already 100 out there. I could win one of these hands, you know. Sometimes when you get it in bad, you still win. Sometimes... When you play one level, like 2-5, which we normally play, and then you kind of bump it down to a little bit smaller, 1-3, uh, which I'm not above playing 1-3, I like 1-3 fine. It's just, I, I, make, I just find the transition a little bit difficult, and it's difficult right now. 
I think I've been playing for 30 minutes and I'm down 800. Okay, Dan, we have a uh, hole to climb out of. <laughs> we, we sure do. Well, it looks like, I mean, your game, people's hands are all over the place. They so. are, and I've moved to a new seat, so you should be able to see a little bit more now. And are you on the table, Grace? Um, not yet. I don't, we don't, um, your cable doesn't break until very late into the night. So I think I'm only on your table for maybe an hour. Well, everybody will approve of us playing separately. <laughs> well, I was crushing my game though. Well, I'm down 800. So. <laughs> All right, Dan, here I do something I know you're going to find blunderous. I call, <laughs> I call a raise from the, uh, small blind, it looks like, with ace, ace five, five offsuit. Off yeah, I think I prefer a, uh, three better fold situation from here. But let's see what shakes down. Nailed what, it. What shakes down Nailed is it. the queen <laughs> eight six board, Dan. Okay. I don't think there's any reason to bet. There, uh, there is not. And, and nobody thinks there's any reason to bet. Everybody checks. We see a six of spades on the turn. That at least gives me a glimmer of hope. It does. It does. That is a mighty fine turn. Do you lead now? You. No, Grace. I, I don't lead. I <laughs> I didn't do a lot of leading in this game. I did a lot of check calling, which is so you essentially <laughs> announced that hey, I'm holding the ace of spades. <laughs> Uh, yes, that's exactly what I did. And it's, it's actually it's actually funny that you say that because, uh, as you'll see here in just a few minutes, I hate to spoil it for everybody, but uh, when I hit this flush right here, they could not fold to my bet faster. So well, I, which is unfortunate given your horrendous image at the table. Yes. Yeah, I have a terrible image. You I'm down eight hundred dollars. You couldn't even get a pity call by like the four spades. No, I sure couldn't. And. Uh, it doesn't look like they fold very fast because it took me a while to get out. I didn't have $50 in chips, so I had to put out a black chip. So that's what kind of took so long. But they really do fold uh, very, very quickly here. Thank you. Is that seriously the first pot you won all night? That was... Well, we're not that far into the night. I mean, it's not strange to win <laughs> oh. one hand after... 45 minutes you, were, you, were you, you gave yourself a standing minutes. oscar ovation uh that was that was that was actually from the emmys oh, oh sorry. but uh, yeah nice. uh nice. so here we have an under the gun open to seven okay which was not normal for the game there was usually a straddle okay. uh we get one call i think i'm gonna pounce like a puma dan i think you should oh i'm on this table now okay so now where are you at here comes I'm, in the, I'm in the black Oh, at the very end of the table, I see you. Yeah. Here comes the collusion. Yeah, I'm looking for. I'm looking for. Oh, look! Look, look, look at that signal Grace is giving me with her. <laughs> look at look at that signal. I see it. Yeah. So I, I do pounce like a puma. I throw out the thirty five dollars, and good. yeah, and then this dude goes all in for sixty dollars, and they're not gonna let me raise it up, Dan. Looks like you're shy just by a couple bucks. Yeah, seven to thirty five is what twenty eight, and then his raise over me is only twenty five. Which is like the most annoying yeah, margin yeah, 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 ever. Yeah, and you can't see, but the guy, oh, you can't hear. The guy to my right actually said, mm, I just want to make sure that, mm, that the original razor, he can't uh, reopen his pot. And the dealer <laughs> informs that I can't. <laughs> so I am that. not very concerned uh, that he has a very strong no, hand. Right. Not. So he limp cold calls the 60. Yes. That is, has to be not rain delay approved. No, very, very much not. Yeah, so I end up. Uh, I thought about it for a while because I was trying to figure out, wait, can I raise? And, yeah, and I couldn't. Questioning the dealers. Yeah, so I ended up just calling, which... Pretty dry I mean, flop for you. It's not a terrible flop, and I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and lead out, try to create a little side pot with my top pair. Yep. And I'm unfortunately not going to get any he's more action. Because as we said, he does not have a strong hand. No, unless he has eights or deuces. Yeah, that's like, about He's that. just getting out. We don't want him to have eights or deuces. No. Luckily, he doesn't. For, for us, and I get, I get my 110 back, and then I, we run it out, and I think he shows two jacks. Is that right, Grace? He does show two jacks. Uh, and so he bemoans his bad luck a little bit, but you know what? Wow, Sometimes geez. run better, guy. Oh, yeah. Me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so two hands in a row. Making a comeback. And, yeah, I'm probably only stuck now like 600. <laughs> Okay, things are looking slightly better. I'm calm now. I was very tilted earlier, probably rambling on to you about ju trying to justify my plays. Not my proudest moment, it happens. I'm not gonna shy away from it. I'm gonna let you guys in on it. Yeah, I was tilted AF. I really was. That uh, slow roll really got to me and I punted a little bit of money, a little bit. Um, 
spike calling and just kind of being splashy and so I apologize for putting you guys through that but uh, it's part of the game we all done it and uh, I'm no different than you guys in that regard so um, not gonna update too much here other than I'm down maybe like 500 now uh, but I'm really cold because St. Louis you, St. Louis is the worst city in the world. No offense to you guys who live here. It's the worst. In the summer, it's terrible. In the winter, it's terrible. I don't know why anybody lives here. So there's that. Um, going back in, I just want to remind you guys, gobble, gobble, foot off the throttle. Okay, Dan, something you need to know about this pot is the guy who's going to end up being the villain in this hand, he's the first middle position player who's going to limp in. He was kind of all over the place with the hands that he played. He was there to gamble it up a little bit. Okay. And uh, let's just say if you made top pair against this guy, probably wouldn't behoove you to fold. Okay. If that makes any sense. Sure, it sure does. You may be able to shed a little bit of light because we're actually not going to be heads up either. So maybe you maybe you can guide us on how you would have played this hand. But I'm going to end up um, calling this pre-flop raise on the button with the 9-10 of spades. Your thoughts? It's a it's a beautiful looking hand. Dan loves this hand. You don't, do. you don't ever advocate hand. for raising? You you could, but I think given you have the button, it's okay to just flat here sometimes. Play it in position. Plays well post-flop, obviously, so I think I'm okay with just the flat. You can throw in a three bet here and there, but So I flop uh, I flop top pair on this board, which is two diamonds and one heart. Okay. And uh, so there's a flusher out there. Would you with two people already committing money, it's just a call on the flop, right? Just a call. I mean, your your hand is strong, but you don't want to overwrap it by raising because your kicker's not very good also. And we're going to face the exact same action here on uh, on the turn. We're going to get a bet, a call. And very then, small bets, too. Yeah, and yeah. I just, I can't, I can't think of any other way to play the hand than just to call. I, I think with, with two people, especially in the hand, I think raising is you're just overplaying. So I think flatting is still just... I, I mean, you're getting a great price, too. So You don't want to turn this strong of a hand into a bluff, right? If, if these bets were bigger, I would be more concerned. And with two people in hand, being leaning more towards a fold. But with these small bets, I mean, people can just click buttons in the spot so easy. So. I didn't even notice this until right now. But that's the river a river bet is even tinier. Yeah, but Grace, look. There's a on-the-board squidgel. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yay. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever seen a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Why are these drunk ladies yelling in the, while we're doing commentary? I apologize for the drunk ladies yelling during our commentary. <laughs> anyway, the guy bets 30, gets called, and I'm just going to call too, Dan. I think you should just call. I am. and For the same reasons before, it doesn't make any sense to raise. So Yeah, it's, just, it's going to be super annoying when I find out. You're getting I, an absurdly good price here. So. I am, but I'm not even in second place, Dan. I am in third. You're in third Yeah, place. I lose to King-10, and I lose to Queen-10, or Jack-10. I can't remember, but... I personally... What? find those pots the most annoying. Grace is cashing out our chips together. I barely even had enough to register with the cashier. Okay, game is over. In for an embarrassingly large amount. I was in for a uh, thousand, no, 1100 uh, sheet. Let's see. She gave me 1400 to play, and I had 300 my pods in for 1100 cashed out for 650 That's not right. I lost 650 so you do the math. And she not only won, but she also hit a $500 high hand for just to rub it in. And she's been rubbing it in. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're going to go home now. Nope, that's not true either. We're going to go to the hotel now. And I might show you what it looks like. But if you guys uh, like these videos, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. Really fast, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. All that stuff, we gotta go, it's it real cold. So this is fun. Grace has gone into the hotel, which is the courtyard, this thing, and left me to grab numerous suitcases, the backpack, my brownies, which is fine because I lost like a chump in an easy 1-3 game. And you have already seen the footage with the voiceover. 
She was kind of botchy, wasn't she, when she said that I can't play 1-3 or 1-2 because I'm snooty or whatever term she's going to use. I don't know. because I'm filming this, obviously, before she says that to you guys. But I know what she's going to say. She's going to say, You watch too many poker videos. These idiots don't know how many blinds they're putting in. Stop paying attention to that. I'm telling you, it's really hard. Queens, 50 bigs to start the hand. How are you going to fold? What are you going to do? I think it's a cooler. She thinks I'm an idiot. I'm probably an idiot.